What's up my fighters and welcome to Dragon Ball Legends again My name is Rami the Archer and today my friends We are going to take a look as I promised you At the new limit break system and the new Zenkai awakening system And we will see everything we need to know about it But before we start if you are new here and you want to stay updated with everything new about Dragon Ball Legends Make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell beside it So that you stay notified with everything new about Dragon Ball Legends and with that being said let's just get started so let's start first with the new limit break system and as you can see they did change the system and it was because of the feedback that they received from some players that the required amount of Z power for limit breaking to four stars and onwards was far too high which is really nice because they decided to do something good from the feedback that they received and that's really cool however they still did it actually in their own way and why am I saying that well let's take a look at the new system and I will tell you why so as you can see up until 1400 Z power it is the exact same there is nothing changed uh, nothing actually b uh, has been added or changed however after it at 1900 Z power before we didn't get anything the character didn't limit break and the character didn't get any power ups however this time after the update we are going actually to get a limit break the character will limit break into five stars and the status uh, of the characters will get actually plus two percent up which is really nice and very useful however don't get tricked here just because the character will limit break into five stars that doesn't mean that the z ability will upgrade no unfortunately now with the new with the new system the character will actually limit break at six stars which is the same amount of z power that you that you need it uh, to be able actually to limit break your characters to five stars at in the old way so basically they did didn't uh, change the amount of Z power that is needed to uh, to upgrade your Z ability but they did change the amount of uh, Z power needed to limit break your characters this is the difference and this is why I am saying that they did actually a good thing but they did it in their own way so basically as you can see now nearly every place is actually giving us a limit break so we are going to limit break our characters so many times and we are going to get some uh, power ups which is really nice however the only places that you are going to see a z ability upgrade upgrading is actually at the same amount of uh, z power that that was required before so at three stars with 700 z power then at uh, at six stars with 2400 z power and last but not least at seven red stars now which is actually the same thing as seven golden stars before uh, which is required which is requiring 9999 z power so this is the 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 new actually change for the whole system you are going to get more power ups but the z power will stay at the same place so now let's take a look at the whole new uh, system in the game which is called Zinkai Awakening. And in the Zinkai Awakening system we can Zinkai Awaken our characters. <laughs> <laughs> which will actually increase the character's strength which is really nice however it in order to do that we need to collect 3000 of the character's z power so you need to collect 3000 uh, z power for the character that you want to zinkai awaken and the three characters that are available for zinkai awakening right now are the three boys that you are seeing actually on the screen right now so the first one is the super saiyan goku the very first one that uh, had been added to the game and the second one is the legendary super saiyan broly the very first legendary super saiyan broly that had been added to the game and then we have actually the third one which is the most interesting one between them because he 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 just received a lot of buffs and uh, a legendary finish which he should have received for a long time ago but he didn't <laughs> 
<laughs> so after all those buffs, they are actually giving him even more buffs, which is actually the Zenkai Awakening, which is insanely good for him, but it's really interesting because at the beginning of the game, they didn't give him a lot of love, but now they are giving him all the love they can give. And that's insane. <laughs> However, there is are, there are actually uh, seven levels of Zenkai Awakening, and uh, as you collect certain amounts of of Awakening Z Power, and by the way, the Awakening Z Power is something else from the Z Power that you need actually in order to be able to uh, Zenkai Awaken your characters, because the Z Power that you need in order to be able to Zenkai Awaken your characters are the uh, Z Power that you get actually through summoning the characters. However, the uh, the Z power or the awakening Z power uh, that you need actually in order to uh, Zinkai awaken your characters or level up your Zinkai awakened characters. However, by leveling up your uh, character's Zinkai Awakening, you are going to unlock some Awakening Boost panels for each class of the character's Soul Boost boards, which is really nice. However, not only that, a character's status and abilities will be strengthened simply by Zinkai Awakening them, making them feel like a whole new character. And believe me, they aren't kidding when they are saying that, because we are going to take a look at one of the, the characters as an example, and you will see what they mean with that. However, as you can see here, there is actually some benefits of uh, Zinkai Awakening a character. You can take a look at it uh, yourself, because I don't want to go through all of that. It will be uh, a very long video then. However, the thing that I want to go, uh, that I want to go through is actually how to obtain the Awakening Z Power. Right now, there is only one way to receive the Awakening Z Power, and that's by doing actually special missions for each character that you want to Zinkai Awaken. However, they are actually planning to implement special summons which, which drop Awakening Z Power as well, but for now, they are saying that this is the only way to get actually the, the Awakening Z Power by doing special missions. So now if we take a look at uh, Super Saiyan Goku's abilities and status after the uh, Zinkai Awakening, uh, just as an example, if we click on it and see, as you can see here, we have him actually completely Zinkai Awakened and uh, as you can see, the ability, the uh, statues are insanely high. They are pretty insanely high for him. He is a very bad character and now he is insanely good character. However, this isn't the best thing about him. The best thing about him is his abilities. Now, if we take a look at the Zinkai ability, increase the following status of characters that are both element red and tag Saiyan. So, unfortunately, you, uh, your characters have to be red and saiyans in order to, to receive those uh, st those uh, increasing status however as you can see he will increase 40 percent to base strike attack 35 percent to uh, base blast attack 35 percent to base strike defense and 40 percent to base blast defense this is insane like use that with the base form Vegito or with the Super Saiyan Vegeta, this will destroy the enemy, totally destroy them. This is insanely good actually, however, his unique ability, uh, if he has a, friend, uh, a character, a light character, uh, Krillin, and this character is defeated, he receives 35% to blast damage, which is insanely good for him. However, applies the following effects to self per defeated, defeated battle member when this character enters the battlefield, plus 20% to damage inflicted for 15 timer counts and restores own health by 15%. So this is insanely good, 15% per defeated battle member means 30% for the two defeated battle members and if one of them is Krillin he will receive even 35% to blast damage as well upon all that. However, the second unique ability is Legendary Warrior. Applies the following effects to self once 5 timer counts have elapsed after entering the battlefield. Minus 10 
to strike and blast arts cost for 15 timer cunts reduces damage received by 30% for 15 timer cunts. So he didn't just get a massive buff for his damage he got actually a massive buff for his abilities and for his defense as well which is insanely good actually however here comes the massive rocket that they did give him actually plus 80 percent just let that sink in 80 percent to damage inflicted against tag lineage of evil this is absolute hilarious like seriously this is hilarious yes it has to be actually when two allies are defeated but still think about it if you face a lineage of evil team and your your uh, your uh, car allied characters uh, are defeated actually and if one of them was krillin you just put it put him th there just so that you get the buffs you are going to get a buff that you, that will make you one shot any lineage of evil character no matter how high the defense is. This is insanely insane, like seriously insane. Now let's take a, a look at the third one, plus 80% to ultimate damage inflicted once 40 timer cunts have elapsed from bottle start. 80% like seriously they are giving them buffs that are absolutely phenomenal they are insanely amazing actually and the last one i am super saiyan goku <laughs> why is this the only one that i read the name all right anyway <laughs> <laughs> applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield restores key by 40 which is normal any any good character can do that uh, plus 20 percent to damage inflicted for 15 timer cunts and plus 20 percent to blast damage inflicted for 15 timer cunts so upon all that 80 percent inflicted damage and all that 35 percent inflicted damage and the 40 percent inflicted damage and the 35 percent inflicted damage and all of the other buffs that he got actually he gets as well this like come on dude come on he he is very close to become the very best character in the game like hello hello legends where were you when you were when you was thinking about this actually like come on this is insane this is total insanity and i really like this move don't don't misunderstand me i like this because it made actually the very worst character in the game nearly the very best character in the game <laughs> but hello hello all right i hope that this type of awakening will not actually be available for characters like Chitku or for characters like super vegeto because those characters are already broken and if they receive this type of uh, zinkai awakening they are going to become unstoppable and no one will be able to stop them ever again never <laughs> Anyway, with that being said, that was everything for today. Let me know your opinion about the two new systems in the comments section below. And yeah, basically, I hope that you enjoyed the video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can enjoy it too. And if you got any useful information from this video or if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell beside it so that you stay notified with everything new about Dragon Ball Legends. And with that being said, see you as always in the next video of Dragon Ball legends.